I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Japanese mahjong, also known as Riki. Most people think about mahjong solitaire of being the game where you play with pairs on tiers of tiles. You just pick off pairs. That's not this. This is a solitaire format for the four player game. You just play four hands at one time. You just have to make sure that you're making decisions one player at a time and just pretend like you don't know what's in the other player's hands. If you have a set at home, give this a try and let me know if it helps your confidence. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles are out. They've been mixed and built into walls next to these risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game by monitoring the tiles in the wall. I'm going to deal the tiles 14 for east, 13 for southwest and north. Everybody has their tiles. Let's look and see what we can do for east. East, it, by the way, I, it's going to be east round. So east has east. I think I would try for a half flesh. They only have four discards to get to a half flesh. These are isolated. This is a chi here, but we have a potential pwn, potential chi, potential half flesh. So I think that's what I would try to do here. I would hold this for a while and see if we draw into BAMs and honors, maybe pair up these winds and, and the dragon. Let's see what happens. And let's go ahead and see what we can do for South. They have two pair but mixed suits. I think I would probably play all cheese. We have three honors to discard. You can't have any value pair, and you certainly can't have a pawn of honors with Pinfu. Pinfu is all cheese. We do have two pair here. We're gonna have to draw in tiles around those to split them into cheese or else use one of them anyway for the pair. You always gotta have a pair. So I think that's what I would do for South. Pinfu, Reach, and that's it for now. Let's see what we can do for West. Honitsu, half flush. Four discards. Look at all those cracks, including two pair and a potential chi. Okay, let's look at north. North has a lot of dots and a pair of west. They have Akadora also. That's the red five. That's an extra Han if you win. Now they do have a couple of isolated tiles, but they have a potential Chi here. I think since there is a pair of Wes and four dots, I think I would try for a half flesh, also called Honitsu. Can you see if there's something missing here from the scene? The con wall. I forgot the con wall. Oops. There's the con wall. Let's flip Dora.
one BAM is DORA. There's a sequence of nine. If you pull nine for the DORA indicator, you go all the way back around to the beginning of the sequence at one. So one BAM is DORA. Right here, two one BAMs. They need to win as quickly as possible. In which case, probably PINFU. Potential Chi, Potential Chi, Pair, or Potential Chi. Either way, I want to use these. Potential Chi. One, two, three blocks. You know what? We could also play Chanta. Chanta is where each block has either a terminal or an honor. All we have to do is get rid of that five and build around the nines, the ones, and the honors. Let's see what happens. Let's go ahead and get rid of the five bam. That's a concealed hand, by the way, I believe. Let me see. Chanta, outside hand, one Han. You can expose for that. Okay then, if it's concealed, you get an additional Han. Let's see what happens. We're gonna draw for this player. I think we were thinking about Pinfu, all cheese. That is a concealed hand. Not only that, but they have no terminals or honors. They could play Tanyao. Tanyao is all simples, all numbers two through eight. Let's see if we can keep them there. Green Dragon. Well, there's a pair of a potential Dragon Pwn. That would be a Han all by itself. I think I would keep that. We have a four, three, four, two, four, three. There's a pair. I think we should play all pwn here. We have one, two, three pair now. Let's go ahead and get rid of this eight bam. See if we can play all pwn. We need to pair up though. Let's draw for this player. One dot. We want cracks. Let's get rid of that one dot. And then we can draw for north. Whoops, two dot. That's good, half flush, four bam. And now we can draw for this player, east. Eight crack, okay, that closed a gap. Let's get rid of this tile, it's isolated, six crack. And it's too far from a terminal, so we would have to get rid of that if we're gonna play Chanta. Let's draw now for south. You might think, well, why not do a three in a sequence here, Chi? You can only Chi from the player on your left, not across. So we can't take that here for either a four, five, six, or a five, six, seven, doesn't matter cannot chi from the player across from you. You have to take it from the player on your left. So we're gonna draw four south, nine dot. Okay, we're trying for all pwn. Maybe if we draw really well, we can do half flush. Let's discard this two crack. All by itself, that's not gonna help. And nobody can take it unless here we play half flush. Let's. We could chi that one, two, three, and that would leave us with a potential chi right there. And then now this though could be a pure double chi if we draw a two. There's one two out already. Let me just look and see about pure double chi. That is a concealed yaku. Let's see here. If we cheat that and exposed, we would have one, two, three blocks. I think I'll wait. I'll wait. If I had another block identified for a potential pwn or chi, I might chi that. But I think we should draw. Oh, a bam. Let's draw now for north. Seven crack. This three crack is not gonna help regardless of whether or not we play half flesh or pones. We only have two pair though. Let's draw four east. Five crack and that is Dora, red five. 
that could bring score potentially, but if we're playing Chanta, that's not going to help. I'm going to discard it. Five crack. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw. Six dot. That's filling in a little bit here. Let's get rid of the three bam. And draw now four west. Eight crack. That's helpful for them. Potential chi, potential chi, potential pwn, potential pwn. We can get rid of the three bam. And draw four north. One dot. That was nice. Let's get rid of the eight crack. Okay, now back down to here. Can't take it. We're going to draw. Six dot. We don't want it. If we're playing Chanta, although maybe we should give up on Chanta, there's a six, seven, eight, potential chi pair, potential chi. One, two, three. We're short a chi or pwn in there. Either way, we're not going to need all these honors here. Let's get rid of one of the wins. We're east. It's east round. Let's discard the north. And draw for south. Seven bam. Let's discard that. And draw for west. Red dragon. Oh, pretty. Dragon pwn potential. Let's discard this four dot. I think a half flush. We have a potential pwn, potential pwn, potential chi, potential chi, potential pwn. One, two, three, four, five blocks. Side weight, side weight, pwns, potential pwns. That's pretty nice shape, I think. Lots of work to do yet, though. Let's draw now for north. Eight dot. Okay, look at all these dots. Potential chi. Potential chi. Potential pwn. Potential pwn. Isolated. These are isolated. But we have one, two, three, four blocks. Any one of these can be the pair. Let's sacrifice the offsuit pair. The Yaku would be half flush, which is called Hon Itsu, I believe is the pronunciation. So we're going to draw now for this player, East. Three dot. That's not helpful, although it is closer to a, a terminal than the six. Either way, let's discard this South. Single honors will do you no good when you have number tiles. Besides ones and nines, I should say simples. Because there is one hand where you can use single honors with terminals. That hand is called 13 Orphans, and it is a Yakuman. It is a high scoring hand and very hard to get. Let's draw now for South. Seven crack, we can discard that. Drawing up here. Can't take a seven crack. We need a six crack or a nine crack there. But if any of these tiles go down, I'm going to act on it and expose. Let's draw. Red dragon. There's a pwn. Pwn of dragons right there. Let's get rid of the nine bam. And now we can draw four north. Five crack. Let's there was a seven crack already discarded. Let's get rid of that. And I'm going to draw for east. West. Yeah, I already, th I didn't throw that, but we're not going to use that. It's east round. This is east seat. Let's draw for south. Five bam. That's Akadora. Let's keep that. Okay, so we're thinking dragon pwn here. Potential chi, potential chi, isolated chi, four, five, six with Akadora pair. You always got to have a pair. One, two, three, four, five. 
Okay, let's discard this three dot for south. And now we can draw four west, seven bam. Drawing four north, five dot, that's a keeper. We can discard the five crack and they are cleared to a half flush. We've had six discards each and nobody is ready to win yet. Being ready to win is called 10 pi and it's a really good goal to be ready to win in six discards if possible. In this case, it didn't quite work out. Let's draw for east, five dot. So we are thinking Chanta. Here's a potential chi with a nine. That three is isolated. The five, six are too far from a terminal. We have one, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and discard the three dot because we could still play Pinfu and, ha and have a chi here or even here. We could probably get rid of that five dot. Or if we switch to Pinfu, we're going to need to get rid of these. There are no East out yet, so nor are there any Red Dragons out. So let's just keep going. We're going to draw for South. Three dot. That's not helpful, really. We have a Dragon Pwn here. We need Chi or Pwn potential. Let's discard the three dot. That's in their discard pile anyway. You don't want to be waiting on a tile that you discarded. That's called Furitan and you cannot win by discard. You have to draw your own tile if you need that tile that's in your discard pile. So that was a good discard for this player. Let's draw for West. One crack, oh yeah. There we go, there's a pwn. Let's discard the nine dot. So pwn. Potential pwn, potential chi, potential chi. There's a pwn. We need, we need a pair, pair, potential chi, chi, potential chi. They're one away from being ready. They are concealed so they can even reach. We need a two crack or a six crack or a nine crack to draw to be ready. Let's draw now for this player. Nine dot was discarded. They can't use it. We're gonna draw eight bam. That's a discard. And now we're gonna draw for east. Three bam, okay, that's all right. There's a one, two, three there. Let's go ahead and get rid of the red dragon. And focus on maybe Pinfu, or still we could do Chanta, maybe, because we can still discard this five dot and have a six, seven, eight, or seven, eight, nine. I'm kind of thinking we should just do Pinfu, because both of these would have to be discarded. So up here we could con it, but I want to stay concealed because I'd like to reach. Let's draw four south. There's Pwn. Okay, let's see. Red dragon was thrown. Potential pwn, chi, potential pwn, or potential chi, potential chi. Let's discard the east. Nobody can take the east. We're gonna draw for west. Nine crack, we can reach because now they're ready. There's a pwn, a chi, side weight, pair, Oh wait, no, they're not quite ready. Wait, yes they are. Here's pwn, pair, potential chi, chi, pwn, we can reach. That means you're ready to win. We're ready to win on a three crack or a six crack. So let's discard this north. We'll put it on its side to indicate reach. Reach in eight discards. We'll put out a wager. So we're ready to win on a half flush with a dragon pwn and reach. That would be three Han. 
let's see I just want to see if oh yeah we could win on a two crack a six crack or a six or let's see a two crack a three crack or a six crack any one of those we could win on because we're not playing pin foo or really I think you it, you can have many weights here we have a middle weight or a closed weight with a two we need a two crack there if we put that with here we could have a pair here and be waiting on a three six so two crack six crack or three crack would be a winner for this player so let's draw now for north east was thrown let's throw that and let's draw for east one crack we can discard the east it's been thrown and it's safe against the, the reach let's see no they threw in north not in east but there are two other east out so that was relatively safe okay now we're going to draw for south nine bam we can throw that that's a discard we're going to draw now for west eight crack discard drawing for north white dragon let's keep that and throw the north the reach player threw a north so that's a nice safe discard for the reach player let's draw now for east two crack one two eight nine five eight nine one two three or pair let's discard the five dot and draw up here for south four bam i suppose they could have cheated there i guess i was thinking concealed potential pwn potential pwn or chi using akadora potential pwn dragon pwn that could be their only yaku that will be a low scoring hand though if that's the only yaku maybe they probably should consider folding perhaps so let's look and see what is in this player's discard pile and see if we can throw a tile in there we cannot there's a there's a seven nine bam four five six chi potential pones potential 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 one two three four let's discard the six dot nobody can take it we're going to draw four west seven dot we'll discard that let's pwn it pwn for south let's see here so it would be like that so we're going to do pones let's hold that for a potential pair and discard the six bam and draw up here six bam drawing four north six crack they're in dots let's discard six crack roan one pair of ones pair four five six seven eight nine pone of dragons that would be a half flesh which is two han pone of dragons reach four han we need to count many points so let's see actually this player threw it uh, yeah that was right this player threw it okay so these are the mini points right there food table so food table we have we're concealed not fully concealed so we get 
we were on a side weight let's see here win on discard if concealed 30 points concealed pone of honors eight that's 38 rounded up to 40 four han 40 times is mongon mongon for non-dealer would be 8,000 points. They get their stick back. I'll just take it over here. And then this player would owe this player 8,000. 8,000. That's really good. When I play, I like to try to play up to Mongon if I can, so I don't have to count many points. But sometimes if you're at four Han and you have strong components like a Dragon Pwn, you can inch your way up, or I should say you could foo your way up to Mongon. They food up to Mongon. If you're new to Mahjong, I hope that gave you a glimpse into what it's like to play the game. If you're interested in learning more, there's a link below the video to Dana Chiba's Strategy Primer. In there are fundamentals and strategy. So download that PDF and check it out. There's also a link to some tutorials that can teach you the game. Be prepared though, they're a bit lengthy. Well worth the time though, I must say. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richie, may all your picks be keepers.